This is a word sculpture, a visual poem with a literal motif, an effigy of puns, which would be a relief. This is an ode to the theatrical flow of words thrown together, then split into thirds, like the acts of a show. A pageant of verbs, a sketch of letters, a play on words. This is an ode ode to wordplay, which can include anagrams, cryptograms, rhymes, oxymorons, synonyms, typography, isogram, calligraphy, and symbols and signs, and of course, acrostics, which are words written down the line. But my favorite form of alphabetic engineering combines several elements of these at once. An ambigram is a word or collection of letters which are quite effective at being viewed or interpreted from a different orientation or perspective. It's wordplay at its finest, if I may be so bold, as it crosses the literal line of physical design. Ambigrams shouldn't be confused with anagrams now, which are a more simple rearranging as letters unfold, like Lady Prow, or better yet, Yard Plow, which is useful for harvesting new words like mold, which we just broke, by the way, crafting the sculpture like a mold made of clay. Words within words, yet another point of view. Like sculpting, anagrams are something you should always calmly do. But we're just getting warm, like the cold fire of a calm storm. A familiarly foreign form of an oxymoron. Utilizing every trick in the book, we transform words and meaning. At our disposal, an endless rain of rearranging words and serene slang, and a long line of letters that go on for miles, infinite variables of these synergy trials. Every change a different exchange, like varying art styles. So, all aboard the gravy train, each car a verse of this thesaurus, a repeating phrase, poetic and plain. But this line isn't a chorus, so I'll refrain. Wordplay is like a culinary art. We simmer the gravy on a stove, a la carte. We get an N from a V, and the Y becomes E. Each ingredient changes the whole recipe, but a bit too morbid to keep on the fryer, so out of the dead pan, into the fire, you know so dry it couldn't be drier, as dead as a dead pan panoramic pangram, as dry as a sip of a villain's martini, topped off with a twist of a small palindrome and brimmed to the rim with gin, and I do mean a genie. And with a swish of the dish, our wish is hit home. This is a word sculpture, molded by time, a marble of letters, chiseled with rhyme, and welded by Webster's, polished by pun, a poem of measure, second to none, none too clever.